What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install a really nice DLC police pack made by Blue Ghost on LSPDFR.com. Alright, this is a really nice pack guys. I did an episode where I was driving the unmarked Camaro that you guys saw. This is that pack, okay? It comes, I think, with about probably 10 to 13 cars. Uh, so go ahead and click that link down. It says uh, Unmarked Pack, I think is what it says. It's going to bring you this page right here, guys, okay? And if you guys want to look at, take a look at these screenshots, you can. This is going to show you all the cars in the pack. Um, there's some right there. Then there's some more right there. There's also a transport van with this, uh, with this pack. And, uh, oh, I did not know that that was another Trans Am. Wow, I'm going to try that out. That's pretty cool right there. All right, so let's get on with this, guys. We're going to close, close out these screenshots. But there's a lot of cars in this pack. If you all want to scroll through the screenshots, you have more than free, uh, welcome to. Right there it is. All right, so let's give a shout-out to uh, Blue Ghost, man. Thank you for your creativity and taking the time to make this pack for us on LSPFR.com, man. Big shout-out to you. Right here, guys, is all the vehicles that are in the pack right here in this list right here. I don't think I can, I don't know why it won't let me highlight that. My computer's been acting weird. Anyway, there's all your cars. Let's go ahead and click this green button that says download this file right here. I think I said that right. Click the green download button. Hope you guys are having a great week so far, man. You're happy more you want to be in life and you're saying it's just a prayer with God or some kind of meditation. All right, guys. So what do you want to do with the ELS Blue Ghost Unmarked Pack .zip? Uh, As always, guys, you can click save to put in your downloads folder right here. Or you can click save as as I recommend, and put it in a folder somewhere, or you can go to where it says this PC and click desktop, and then save it there. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I do when I save these packs so I can have a copy of them, okay? So this is what I would do. If I wanted to save my pack, I would click the save as, just so you guys know what I'm talking about, all right? And then I would go to, like, this PC, and then go to this drive right here. This is where all my LSPFR stuff is. And then I would go to... Uh, let me find it right here real quick. Where's it at? Where's it at? LSPFR vehicles. All right. So I'm double click that. And then it's already in there. So it's going to override it. But I'm going to click save. All right. And it's going to download the pack right now. All right. So it does take a minute to download the pack. I'm just going to go ahead and do this for you guys because it, it does take a minute to download it. But I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, man. And uh, I hope you guys are are enjoying the giveaways and stuff. I'll be doing more giveaways here pretty soon. Uh, not sure what to give away yet. If you guys have any ideas about giveaways and what to give away, throw it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about it, okay? I'll see what I can't do about getting those giveaways up for you guys. Because I, you know, I enjoy giving back to you guys because you guys give so much to me by watching my videos and liking them. And, and you know, if, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have 5,100 subs. And that's where I'm at right now. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys, man, so much. All right, so what we're going to do now is we would open the folder, okay? Then you would minimize your window up here. And see, I already have the... the so I'm just going to delete this one here to show you guys. So I would grab the Blue Ghost Pack, the one that's highlighted, bring it out and drag it and drop it to your desktop. Because now you have this to work with, but you also have a main copy of it in your folder. So that way, if you ever have to have it again... And in case you have to reinstall your LSPFR, then you have the main copy. And just to sh go show you guys, they both work. See that? That one works. And that one works, okay? So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and close our window out. And let's get on with this. Um, let's get on with this, okay? You guys, you're going to have to have your GTA 5 main directory. And you're going to have to have OpenIV, okay? Those are the two things that you're going to have to have, all right? So what we're going to do first is we're going to work with our main directory. Now, here is, um, this is what you're going to have to have for this, okay? You're going to have to have a mods folder. Now, if you do not have a mods folder, I will leave a link in the description below showing you guys how to install OpenIV and as well as showing you how to install a mods folder, okay? Because when you install OpenIV, there's a little trick you can do that puts a mods folder in your main directory. So if you do not have these things, I will leave the link down there for you guys to go back and watch that video that shows you how to do this. And once you have your mods folder, you can come back to the video, okay? But for those that do have the mods folder, all right, we're going to double click on mods and then update time 64 and DLC packs, all right? 
Now we're going to open up our unmarked WinRAR here, unmarked pack WinRAR. Okay, we're going to double click on the ELS Blue Ghost right here. And we are going to do the add-on. Now, don't forget you have your XML files. These are all, This is how many vehicles in the pack, okay, guys? So I'm, I'm thinking about 13, all right? And I'll show you guys how to spawn them and all that. What we want to do right now, guys, is go to add-on, okay? And if you click this, there's your DLC.RPF, okay? Go back. You want to grab this Blue Ghost pack right here. You want to drag it in your DLC packs like that. And just 3, 2, 1, drop, just like that. It's going to make its way into the DLC packs. And this is how we have to do this pack. Now, this will not override any of your other police cars that you have, like your Police 1, Police 2, Police 3, Police 4, Police T, Police B. It will not override those guys. These are completely different named cars. So this is why I got the pack, because I have my other police cars, but I also have these as well. All right? Now, once you've got that in your DLC packs, guys, hit the refresh button. It's going to put it right there at the top for you, unless you got something else named above that. All right? And then go back in your WinRAR. All right, and we're going to oh, we're going to open up this readme text. Now, you guys know where we're going to go from here. You're going to scroll down till you get to this right here. This is where we are. You want to highlight this line right there. Item DLC packs, blue ghost pack, and then item. Highlight that whole line. Right click and copy. Okay. Now go ahead and close out that. Close that out, and go ahead and pull up your XML files where it says VCF. Okay. And then just minimize that WinRAR for right now. Go ahead and go back in your main directory, to the main directory. Refresh that. And you can go ahead and close out your directory. We're done with that. Now, open up your Open 4. All right. Once you have that open, guys, since I have mine saved, I'm going to go right here. All right. This is the pathway you want to go in OpenIV. All right. I'm going to say it slowly so you guys can, can follow along, okay? You're going to go to Mods. All right. Go to Mods. Then go to update, update.rpf, common, and then data. Now, once you get to data, you're going to scroll. This is where you install your, your radiance right here, which is visual settings .data. You're going to scroll down. You're going to find the this right here that says DLC list.xml. You're going to highlight it, right click, and then click edit. Okay. Now, it's going to bring up this window. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to click on the last the last line. <clears throat> at the end of the last line, you want to put your cursor at the end of the last line, is what I'm trying to say. Then click Enter one time on your keyboard. Then select. Then hit Control-V. And there's your DLC pack, guys. It's in. Now, once you've got that, go ahead and click Save. And if you want to double-check it, you can double-click that DLC list and go down. And you will see it right there it is, guys. There it is. Okay. Now, let's close out of this. Now, what we want to do is navigate to our XML files. So, go into your OpenIV again. Go to ELS. And then, Pack Default. Now, what you're going to do, guys, you're going to pull that WinRAR back up that we have minimized. You're going to simply grab every single one of these files right here. You're going to bring them over in here and go 3, 2, 1, drop. Just like that, okay? They're all in. You have to have them XML files, guys. Those XML files is what tells your lights how to rotate, tells them how to behave, tells them how to flash, when to flash, how fast to flash. You have to have those XML files. If you don't install those, your lights are just going to be on, but they won't be turning or flashing, okay? They just kind of look weird. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and close out of our WinRAR, get rid of that shortcut, and then go over here to your OpenIV and click File, click Close All Archives. And that is about it, guys. Close out of open IV and close the other windows that you have open. And I'll see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys. So once we're inside the game, this is what you're going to want to do. Um, you're going to want to pull up your simple trainer. Okay. You're going to go up to vehicle spawning. And you're going to go down to search for vehicles. Okay. Now, I've got the list right here beside me, guys, of all the vehicles. We're going to type in the Camaro first. So just type in C A M. And if other things pop up, don't worry about it, guys. Go ahead and click Enter. And then go down to the one that says Camp Emergency, okay? Then hit 5. All right? Get rid of that police radio. And there is your unmarked Camaro. All right, there it is. All right, so there's that one. Let's hop out. Go back into your simple trainer again. Vehicle spawning. Search for vehicles. We're going to pull up the next. I'm just going to do a few here for you guys. If you guys want a list of the cars, go back to the uh, 
<clears throat> to the Blue Ghost Windwire file and pull up the README. <clears throat> and it gives a list to you in there of all the names of the vehicles of what you have to type into spawn each vehicle. Okay, I'm only going to do a few here for you guys. Uh, let's do the next one. This is uh, this is the Dodge Challenger. Just type in C-H-A-P, hit enter, and then right there where it says CHAP Emergency, hit 5. All right. There's your Dodge Challenger. It's also very beautiful. Pull it over here beside the other one. They got some power, guys. I'm not going to lie. They got some serious power, all right? Let's pull it here beside this one and hop out. All right. We'll do a couple more here. Uh, next one's going to be the... Um, the 2017 Chevrolet Colorado. So pull up your simple trainer again. Oh, my bad, guys. My, my mistake. Sorry about that. Pull up your simple trainer again. Again, vehicle spawning. Search for vehicles. And this time, you're going to type in C-O-L-O-P. Okay, then hit Enter. And then, if you can see where it says Colop, Emergency, hit 5. All right. This is your Colorado, guys. It's only got one stage of lighting, so you got to do is just click it one time. And there's your Colorado. It's pretty sharp. You want to look at the inside of it? There's the inside. It's got the little um, <clears throat> the uh, ELS box there in front of you on the windshield. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this one around as well. And then we'll do, like, one more here. Let me, let me pick a really good one here. Let's see. Uh, and then we'll, we'll pull up the uh, the transport van for you guys. We'll do that one. So go ahead again, guys. Hit your uh, simple trainer, pull it up. Five on vehicle spawning, search for vehicles. And then, let's see, I gotta look down the list here. Just type in, um, just type in T-R-A-N-P, all right? And then hit enter. And then right there where it says T-R-A-N-P emergency, hit five. Okay, this one also only has one stage of lighting. There's your transport van. I got there's a few right there for you. And that is your DLC list, guys. Uh, like I said, if you want to get the rest of the DLC list, guys, just go back into the Blue Ghost unmarked file or the Winrar file, find it wherever you put it on your on your desktop or wherever, and pull up the README, and it will it will give you a list in there of all the cars and how to and it tells you what to type in to spawn them. Okay. I'll actually do one more for you guys. Pull up our simple trainer again. Vehicle spawning. Search for vehicles. Let's put in the, uh, let's see. Let's do the 2015 Subaru. This is going to be WRXP. Then hit enter. Then click 5. There you go, guys. That's the Subaru. This does have three stages of lighting. So there's your, there's your stage 1 right there. And your stage two. All right, see how sharp it is, guys? Looks really good. And then stage three. So these are all completely uh, legit unmarked vehicles, guys. And this pack is very nice. I love using it myself. Probably going to use this uh, Subaru in the next episode. Uh, it's great for undercover work. If you're going to drug deals and stuff like that, it's harder for the people to track you and to know that you're a cop when you're driving something like this. But guys, there's a few of the vehicles in the pack right there. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to go back to the readme and pull up the rest of the list and check it out. I thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support, guys. We are at 5,100 subs, guys. I cannot believe my channel has grown this far, guys, and so big. Like, and it's there's still so much more room to grow on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I have nobody to thank but you guys and uh, my wife, of course, you know, for the support and love that she's shown me as well as you guys have to me as well. And first and foremost, I have to thank God because he's what's gotten me here too. But thank you guys so much for your love and support. Appreciate it so much. My Google Docs will be down below in the description. You can check those out and download anything you want. All the vehicle packs, including this one, is in there. Your LSPFR plugins, callouts, etc. It's all in there, guys. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.